Hey everyone, welcome back to Intro to DJing. In this video, what I'm gonna do is talk about effects. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is switch my layout from Starter to Essentials here in Virtual DJ, and that'll allow us to actually see the effects here in addition to the sort of mixer color effects as well. So this is where you can get kind of confusing because there are multiple places you can apply effects and those effects can be different. But in standard, what the way that this will work is you'll have what are called color or mixer effects. And these are things that can be mapped to your filter knob or your paddles. And those are pretty much done on a per deck basis. And then you also have these effects which are a little bit easier to route to different channels. So these are kind of done earlier in the signal path than these effects that you have here. These are effects that you can route either to one deck, the other, or both if you'd like. And there's one for each deck that you see here. I find that it's best to just basically apply these effects to the decks that they have. And I typically use these when I'm mixing and the like transitioning between songs and these basically during the track. So the idea behind an effect is just something that you put on top of your sound to affect the sound or to change it. And what I wanna do is go through several of the most popular effects that you'll often hear and what they do. All of your effects are going to have a dry wet knob, which is basically like a volume control in addition to sort of like an on off switch. So here in Virtual DJ, you click this button and there'll be a button on your controller that'll turn the effect on and off. And then your dry wet knob controls the amount of the effect. And usually you may have one to three other knobs that control certain parameters of the specific effect selected. So this first effect that I'm gonna show you is called delay. And this basically adds an echo to the sound. So what I'm gonna do is turn it on and I'll slowly increase this wet control as I play the sample and you'll be able to hear what happens. You can tell when it's 100% wet, it's only the delayed signal so you're not getting the original signal. The next effect that I want to talk about is your reverb. Now reverb is what it's going to do is add space. It basically simulates a room and this can be really helpful to kind of create that sort of washed out effect. So what, like before, I'm going to turn it all the way off and increase this, which is basically the dry wetter strength. And this size control will control the size of the virtual room. So increasing this is going to make the room sound bigger. Pretty cool. The next effect I wanna talk about is the flanger. Now what the flanger is going to do is create copies of the sound that'll cause a phasing effect. It kind of causes like comb filtering and it's this very sort of tinny sound. And this can be pretty cool to do if you're playing EDM right before a drop or just wanna add a little bit to the track. So this is what the Flanger sounds like the speed knob will control the rate at which the flanging happens. Oops. One thing to remember here in Virtual DJ is to turn these effects off when you're not using them because you can apply multiple effects at once, which may not be what you want to do. The phaser is very similar to the flanger, except it does it a little bit differently. I would say the phaser is a little bit more gentle. I tend to use the flanger. I don't really use the phaser that much, but it's good to know the difference, what these sound like. Pretty interesting. And the last one I wanna talk about here is the noise effect. And basically what this is going to do is it's like a noise sweep. And what you can use for this is for risers or adding tension. This is what it sounds like. So I'm gonna add, turn away. Pretty cool. So 
play around with these effects that you have on the deck side and check out the DJ application you're using if you're not using Virtual DJ to see the different effects options that you have. Sometimes in the settings, you can actually choose which ones show up. If they're ones you don't use all that much, it can be helpful to just turn those off because otherwise um, you'll have... Uh, You'll have all these effects here that you never really use. And those are the main ones I want to talk about. Um, there are, sure, there are other ones, but uh, most of them are kind of variants of these particular ones. Now, in terms of the color effects here, we've already talked about this filter knob, but we can actually do other things. And many of these are actually pretty much the same effects you're going to see here. One of them is the echo. And of course, double clicking will reset it. You also get the flanger. However, unlike the flanger here in this effect section, what this flanger doesn't actually have a rate. As you increase this knob to the left or to the right, it actually simulates the effect without any oscillator that's moving the sound on for you. So if you wanted to basically emulate what's being done over here, you would have to actually move the knob yourself. Like so. We have our filter, we have our noise, which this noise is pretty much the same as the other one. Other effects you have is the loop roll. Now this one's pretty interesting. Take a listen to this. So what it'll do is it'll actually set a loop and as you turn it, it'll shorten the loop. So it's very similar to if I was to be playing a loop. But the track still plays underneath. So this can be pretty cool if you want to do something kind of tricky. Can have a lot of fun with that one. You have the pitch. This will actually change the pitch of the song that's playing, but it'll do it in a very kind of odd way. I honestly don't use that one too much. You have your reverb as before. And you have your spiral, which is, uh, let's take a listen. This is actually an effect called a grain delay. So it tries to take grain, grain granular, kind of does this granular synthesis where it takes little pieces of the sound and stretches them out. Um, a very odd effect. This is another one I don't really use. Mainly the ones that I use are the echo, noise, the filter, of course, the loop roll, and the reverb. Um, so that's pretty cool. You also have this, uh, this, uh, this, this vocal thing, which will cut the vocals or mix the vocals, but you'll need to have the stems enabled to do that. So those are the main effects controls that you have here. My advice to you is play around with them. Just, just find some tracks that you know what they sound like and just kind of practice twisting the knobs and getting a feel for what they sound like. There's really no substitute for this and um, have a lot of fun with it and hopefully You'll learn, uh, you'll learn how all this works. All right, see you in the next video.